And now, WJCL News, working for you. The religion in schools controversy continues in Bullitt County. Today, the district's top educator speaking out about the issue that has gained national attention. Yeah, last month, the school board told teachers they couldn't express their religious beliefs inside the classroom or on their email signatures. Larry Spiro has been following this story all day, a story that's gained national attention and has everyone in our area talking. And it's, they're still talking, Kevin and Renee. After we first reported this story last month, hundreds viewed the online petition and supported the teachers. This week, there was a compromise made between the community and the school board. In this email, the top leader of Bullitt County Schools responded to a topic that has the district in the national spotlight. Really just a, a basic email, um, signature line. Um, to make sure uh, everybody's rights and views are respected um, as well as uh, protect the board from any contra future controversy. Controversy that started after a football coach led his team in prayer. Parents and teachers told WJCL they were then told not to express any signs of religion inside the classroom or on email signatures. There is such a fine line in so many of these of these gray areas that that's really, you, you have to take them one item at a time and one incident at a time. Jonathan Cox started an online petition and a Facebook page in support of the teachers. Since we first reported this story, this petition has gained more than a thousand signatures that prompted this response from Superintendent Charles Wilson. We've sought and received input from our community and our employees and um, to better understand the issues that were um, the issues of concern. And we've been doing a lot of listening, and as, as a result of that, it's been a, it's been a, a, a good process. A process that led to this compromise between the school district and the community. Wilson told employees in an email, you do not have to step away or turn your back on student-led prayers. You are free to pray to yourself or even gather with your peers of like faith to pray when students are not present. You may wear non-obtrusive religious jewelry. Students are free to learn about different faiths. However, Teachers are not allowed to show religious beliefs through email. Everybody will have a uniform email signature. That's actually a, that's a great compromise. We were, we were never wanting teachers to be able to lead prayers. That was never an issue in the beginning, but we wanted the teachers to be able to show support for students who wanted to lead prayers. There will be another public meeting Thursday, December 19th at 6 o'clock. That meeting will be in the cafeteria of the William James Educational Complex. And Kevin and Renee, they're asking anyone to come to that meeting to bring their questions and concerns about this issue and the decision that they made. So finally, there'll be some resolution is what we're hoping for. Right. Yeah. Some, some type of understanding and resolution made to this compromise. Yeah. Very good. All right. All right. Thanks, Larry.